gonna call? Ghostbusters? Like, I don't, I don't know. welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new as you can see we are on the way somewhere so I don't know if this is gonna be a vlog or we're just gonna focus on the task at hand which is to update the house a little bit okay so I have been wanting to do a couple projects mainly one big one and that's what we're finna do so we are on the way to Home Depot and tonight I'm just going to get a couple of paint samples or preferably just one I know what I want I just need to make sure that they have the color and then the real work is going to begin tomorrow so painting is one of those things that you're like oh my gosh it's just painting like how hard can it be and then you find out and to be honest with you I'm not really trying to find out I'm trying to learn as much as possible and be prepared ahead of time which I understand I'm doing this all very last minute I've been thinking about doing this for over a year so does it seem very like rushed a little bit sure in my mind is it rushed no it's actually taken entirely too long because why why didn't you just do it a year ago i know why but anyways we're on the way to home depot i'm gonna be brave i think and take y'all in with me and you can help me pick out the color i already know the color but you can just come along for the ride okay and you can be there for moral support in hindsight all right y'all we are here at home depot so i need to get a thing for the door and then i need to get the paint but i think i'm gonna go do the paint first so this black is like too deep that's not what i want like i want like a like a muted black let's see they have others Ma'am, you were gorgeous oh. i just wanted to tell you that thank you thank you <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Am I able to get a sample, one of each of these? Um, matte. Because in my house, the walls, I'm 99% sure that they're matte. They might be flat, but I'm pretty sure that they're matte. And I don't want any type of shine with this. So, we will see how it goes. I know, everyone thinks it is. It's a little microphone. <laughs> Everyone's like, what's that animal? I'm like, no. <laughs> All right, y'all, so I got a sample of each color. Now I need to go and get um, this thing from my front door. There's like water coming in my front door in the bottom. Um, only like sometimes, so I need to get a door skirt, which apparently is down here. Okay, got it. I came in Target really quick, because I need one thing, but of course I already have two things in my basket that I did not plan to get, but that I could use. But I'm taking a quick detour to see if they have any wall art because Home Goods, when I was there the other week, had a piece that I want. So, oh, look at this. One thing I wanted from Home Goods, um, the size might be kind of small. So I was thinking, oh, if I did like little ones to go with it. And look what they have. Let me put this somewhere so I can show y'all. But it's a plaster painting, which yes, I can do on my own, and I have done one on my own. But from Home Goods, it's only thirty dollars. But look, this is a set of two little ones. So see the size of them? They're really small. Um, see, they're twelve by sixteen. So they're not very big at all, and it's a set of two. So that would be cute to do like a big one and then like little, little. You know what I'm saying? Um. And they have one, two, three, four, five. So I don't have to get this today. And it's $35 for this set of two, if y'all happen to be interested. So now, look at how cute. This is how Target gets you. I don't need to be looking at none of this. Anyways, I'm gonna get my, oh, look at that welcome mat. All right, y'all, we're back home. So I did really good in Target, I'm proud of myself. So what we were trying to do, to be clear, this wall in my living room, okay? Let me go ahead and show y'all. So this wall over here, this giant, I mean, technically it's like three walls, but this whole thing, I want to paint black, okay? Well, really what I'm wanting is I don't want it to be like a deep black. See like how deep the TV is and like how deep 
these pillows are. Like, I want it to be like this. So that's why I'm like, okay, matte should work. Like the matte finish. But also, that's why I got a couple of different colors. I didn't want to get the black that they had that was like so deep looking. So I got two. Um, where are my swatches? I didn't want to get like black, black. So I got this. Um, so this one is Dark Secret. So see, it's like black, but like a little bit of a gray, like a charcoal. My whole thing though, it like, is it giving slightly blue? I don't think so. I think it's giving almost like a muted black. I'm going for like a charcoal muted black kind of thing. You know what I mean? But then I also got this limousine leather, which I feel like is very like deep pigmented. So this is limousine leather and this is dark secret. So more of the gray. So see how it starts to look a little like bluey? But I feel like it only looks like that when you hold it up to the black. Like if you take it by itself, I feel like it's giving like muted black. But then it's like, is it blue? I don't know. Like, they're very close, okay, but they're different. So, I got a sample size of each, and I'm gonna do the right thing, and we're gonna brush on a couple of strokes of each, let them dry, and see. I just feel like the black, even though it's gonna be matte, I just feel like this limousine leather is gonna be, like, too black. You know what I'm saying? I feel like this dark secret, I feel like it may be the vibe of, like, what I'm wanting. Like, I just feel like, let me hold up. <laughs> I just feel like, yeah. I feel like that's what I'm wanting. So, we're about to we're about to do this. I'm very scared. Let me be very clear. I am scared, okay? One, I'm scared to do it on my own, but I'm being kind of impatient about it. Two, I have not painted before, so be for real. Three, I feel like when you're doing something bold like this, you better do it right. You better do it so right, and there are, like around my fireplace, there's a lot happening in terms of like where I'm gonna have to tape and make sure I don't get any on the tile, only get it on the wall, don't get it on the mantle. Don't get me started on the fact that I'm not taking my TV down. Like I'm gonna pull it down, but I'm not gonna take it off the mount. I'm gonna squeeze my little self back behind there and I'm gonna get it figured out, okay? Is that the best choice? Probably not, but even if I pay someone I don't think they would take the TV down. You know what I'm saying? And like, I don't have anyone to help me take the TV down. So it's just a limitation that we have to work around. But anyways. So I decided I'm gonna put my samples on this wall. So I'm gonna take this down. So I actually made this. It's one of those like DIY plaster paintings. Like here, I'll come close. So you guys can see like the texture and whatever. But what happened was I made it and I did it wrong. <laughs> But when it was white, I really liked it. But white against these really light walls, like it's not gonna do it. So I painted it black. But then with it being a big black rectangle next to my TV, it also didn't look right. So that's why I put this white design on it, which I'm low key like. So anyways, <laughs> but I just feel like, I mean, you guys will have to let me know what you think, what color, but also by the time you see this, it's probably gonna be painted and done and over with. But let me bring you closer. Okay, the hair is up so you know it's real. So this is Dark Secret, okay? And this is Limousine Leather. So this one is more of like the black. See how they're like similar, but they're different? I don't know if it's gonna pick up on camera. I feel like the Dark Secret is what I'm going for. Like, more of that like muted black. I feel like it's gonna be the vibe. So I'm gonna put that on the left and then the other one on the right. So, which one is this? This one's limousine leather. So this, like they always put a dot for you. This is how it dried. So, I feel like it's gonna be really pretty. We're gonna find out. Help me Lord. I'm gonna do it right here. So if something happens and I'm like, you know what? I don't want to paint for the time being. I can cover it up with my canvas until I decide to paint over it with the current color. Ooh, pretty. I don't really want, I don't want to like spill here. I'll show you guys. That's what it looks like in the liquid form. Okay, my bad. All right, let's see what it's giving. I also, I don't know the proper techniques. 
So nobody be in my comments like, you should have done, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm admitting it now, okay? We're gonna, we're gonna do it together and learn together. Woof. I feel like it looks like, see, and I can already tell it's gonna have to be multiple coats because of like how it's going on. I mean, maybe not, but probably. Okay, I think, so one thing I did see is that when you're doing sampling, they actually say you should do like a big square so that you can really see. I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna go with vibes. And that's what we're doing. We're going with vibes. <laughs> I might do a little bit more of this one because I'm leaning more toward it, but. I feel like this is pretty. I feel like it's giving. There's that one. I like it. It's hard to tell, right? Because it's wet. I kind of like it though. Like I feel like it might be giving a little blue and I don't want that. But also it might need to dry. Okay, as it's starting to dry, I'm really kind of into it. Like, I feel like it might be giving blue, but it's like you look at it a little more and it's like, no, it's not. But I don't know, because if it's giving blue, I'm going to be upset. Let's do the other one. <laughs> Let's see. So this one is the limousine leather. So this is what it looks like on its lid. And this one is, you know, not black, but black. Oh, it's very much getting black. I should be more delicate. Um, so yes, this one is very much getting black. You can see. It's like black, black. It might be too black. Let me put y'all back. Okay. Okay, let's see what this one is doing. It's, did, I, did I splatter? No. That's for my canvas. Okay. Was very nervous. Okay. Okay. But see, I feel like it's getting black, black. Like maybe... Like potentially too black. You know what I'm saying? Like I want it to be a black wall. But like I said, I'm wanting that like charcoal, like muted black. And you know what? Remember when I was showing you, I feel like this one looks blue when it's against this one and I'm putting them right next to each other. It might not be the best idea. Now I'm stressed. And this, um, I was looking at the swatch, and this one, limousine leather, is whatever, like bare, one coat guarantee type of thing. So, and I feel like you can tell. Like, I feel like it's covering a little bit better. But I don't know. Let me, let me take a minute. I don't know, what do y'all think? Because who knows, by the time I post this, maybe I didn't even end up painting. Who knows? Well, I don't know, because I kind of like the black, but I feel like the black, and I feel like this is like, you got a black wall. Like, it just, like, it's just very like, you know what I'm saying? Versus this, I feel like it's like the muted black. I feel like I need to, I don't know. I almost feel like I need to do more of this one but I'm also like, maybe it's because I'm leaning more toward it. But see, now that I'm looking around my house, my stuff is like black. So wouldn't it make sense to do black? But also like, it's a wall in your house. I also told myself like, oh, I'm gonna like tape, like, you know, tape my trim and like all the things. I'm gonna do all that tonight so like I'm ready tomorrow. I'm tired. Okay, hey y'all, good morning. It's the next day. So here is the final like dry product. So see, I feel like the camera's kind of picking up. See, it's giving like muted black versus black. So this is what it looks like in the daylight. I actually made a lot of progress last night. So I went ahead and taped all of like my corners and then my trim all the way around my fireplace including the mantle and then again down the other side the trim all the way up so I wasn't able to do the tape for the ceiling because I'm too short and I don't have a ladder that's part of the things that I needed was a ladder 
So I wasn't able to do that last night, but I'm actually proud of the progress that I made. So I did already go to Home Depot this morning. It's already like after 11 o'clock. Um, I was gonna take y'all, but I was anticipating getting a ladder and stuff like that. And I was like, I can't maneuver the camera with this. Um, but here's what happened. So I took my friend who has done plenty of home projects, including painting because I needed emotional and moral support, all right? So he actually is letting me borrow his ladder. So got that. And I didn't have to pay for that. And because I didn't have to pay for that, and I had budgeted to pay for it, I also got a new shower head. So I've been wanting a new shower head in my master bath because I want one that has um, the hose, you know, because cleaning my tile is really annoying when you don't have the hose. Um, so I feel like, you know, buy it for looks, buy it for life. Shout out Moen. So I think I'm gonna like this one. I like that it's like the big head and then you can still do this, but you don't have to have them both going at the same time. So like, you know, you can have it on like the big one and not the little one or, you know, any type of combo. So we'll do this later on, like when the paint is drying or something like that. Um, but I got the paint. I went with Bear Marquee. It's supposed to be one coat. I'm hoping that it really is just one coat, but here's the thing. I was going to get the classic painting supplies that you would think you would need, rollers, brushes, etc. But my friend, because I have like the orange peel textured walls, it's not a flat wall, he was saying that this kind of brush, that's like a, almost like a sponge, he was saying that this, like it goes on so smooth. Like my thing with the roller, which is also his thing, is that when you're rolling the paint, it can like splatter and get like, even if you're doing it really light, it can splatter, it can get obviously on you and your hair all over the place. And because everything in my house is white, like <laughs> my furniture is white, my, I'm gonna have the TV up, I'm not taking the TV down, I have my bookshelf. Y'all, if you watch my restoration hardware video, you know how much these things cost. I'm not trying to get paint on them. And when it splatters like that, it can splatter, you don't know, then it dries. So I got this size and I'm thinking this would be good for like, you know, the edges and whatever. But then I also got a bigger size. Maybe if I had space. I got a few of those. I got three in total so that, cause he was saying like eventually it will like soak up the paint and get kind of like, mm. So I went ahead and got three just so I would have them. And then I also got a bigger one for more coverage. But we're gonna do this because I'm confident I can do it. And then just in case I needed it, I did get some of those angled brushes that people use. Um, I got a thick one, like a two inch one, and then I got a one and a half inch, just in case. Like especially around like where my fireplace is, like that little corner, like that little sliver. I just feel like it would be nice to have this if I need it. Um, so that's what we got from Home Depot. So I'm gonna have some lunch really quick. Well, actually that's a lie. I'm gonna tape my ceiling now that I have the ladder. Uh, my friend also gave me drop cloths to use and then a paint tray. So I saved a lot of money by not having to buy all of this extra stuff, hence why I bought the shower head. And then also I did go to Home Goods to see if they had that canvas I wanted. I'll put a picture of it. Um, I saw it at the beginning of the month, and I know, I know, Home Goods is one of those places, like if you see something, you have to get it right then because it probably won't be there if you go back, and that's exactly what happened. So, I'm gonna see how I feel after I paint the wall, but I think what I'm gonna do is my DIY canvas I did, I think I'm just gonna paint it white. Just paint it white and then I'll be back to my original vision. And if I hate it, I'll go to Michael's and get another one and do it all over again. But anyways, let's get the tape up. I'm excited, all right? I'm a little bit nervous, but I'm excited. I got the tape on in that. 
about took me out, I'm not gonna lie. For some reason, this wall is so much easier than the others. And I have that orange peel textured, whatever, like not, goodness sake, the orange peel um, texture on my walls and my ceilings. And my ceilings and walls are the same color. And I'm telling you, it's not giving sharp 90 degree angle in the corner. It's giving like rounded corner, which is making it difficult to see if like I have a straight line on my tape. But anyways, I did that. I got all of my, um, if you can see, all my wall plates off. So we're gonna start painting. I had lunch as well. I was starting to get real cranky when I was doing the tape and I was like, you need to eat. Um, but we're about to get started. I'm gonna do the fireplace wall first because I feel like that's the most complicated. So let me show you. So like I said, I'm not taking my TV down. So I have this plate, like the wires are connected, so I can't take that off. But I have like the mount there and then on the other side, you guys can't see from here, but there's a wall plate over there that I took off. Um, so I feel like this is gonna be the most complicated to get around that because again, I'm not taking the, oh, if I could put you on me. I'm not taking the mount down. I figure when I move, I might leave the mount. If I don't and I take it down then, then I'll paint it then. I'm not doing it right now. But I feel like this is gonna be the most complicated. But it's gonna be fine. And I'm gonna start with the little, the little thing. So let me get my setup going. And we're gonna get started and we're gonna do it. And it's gonna be one coat in Jesus' name. Please God, please. It's improving, but you do have to be mindful of the drip on that sponge. So, I mean, I got right from there all the way down. I feel like it looks okay. I'm trying to be mindful of where like you can see the dripping on the wall as well as not to drip on anything else. I put the drop cloth on my mantle because I was dripping a lot on there. But now I'm just gonna go with the brush. I use the brush to go like around the perimeter of the mount. But I have these covers that go over my mount. I'll show you. So these actually go over my mount and they're designed to be paintable. So you just like slide them over. So you're not gonna see like any of that. Um, and I understand it looks janky behind it, but once this is painted the same color as the wall and it's back there, like you're not gonna see any of that. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. I feel like it's looking good. My concern with the sponge is trying to make sure everything is like even, but I'm not gonna lie, it's getting in the orange peel. You can wax on, wax off if you want to. You can mm -mm -mm. just don't press too hard. But I'll check in after this wall is finished. Okay, y'all. I feel like it's looking pretty good, okay? It's not like the best job because again, I'm not a professional and obviously some of it's still wet, some of it's like drying, but I feel like it looks good. But see how it's like, there's a little bit of a contrast between like the black of the TV and the wall. That's what I wanted. I feel like the other color was gonna be like black. So I feel like it's looking really good. I think we're making good progress. I'm gonna come over, I think, oh gosh, and do this wall next. Um, that's just what I'm feeling. So I will say with this orange peel textured wall, blah, blah, I'm beefing a little bit because what happens is like the paint is obviously wet, okay? And it's drying as you're continuing to paint the wall. And so it's hard to tell like if you missed a spot or if it's reflecting light because it's wet. And then like when I'm up painting it, it'll look like I covered it. But when I step down on the ground, it's like from underneath, you can see that like I missed a little bit. So it is kind of tedious, but that little sponge thing, that's it, that's the vibe. Um, so on this wall, I'm gonna go, I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna go left to right or top to bottom. I feel like left to right and then come down, but I'm gonna switch over once I get like, uh, well, I guess I'll do this sliver in the corner here, if you guys can see, like there. I guess I'll do that first. Um, but then when I get on this big wall, I'm gonna switch to like the big sponge. But I'm excited. I feel like it's looking really good. I mean, I understand around the mount, it's very jank. But again, once we get these painted, 
and get them up on top of it, you're not gonna be able to tell, okay? All right, y'all, it's been a few hours because my camera died, I'm sorry. But the show had to go on because I was on a roll. So I finished painting it. It's mostly dry. I don't know if it's like 100% dry. And I feel like it looks pretty good. But the more I stare at this side, the more I'm like, but it makes me feel like it's not 100% dry. But I'm gonna show y'all, but don't judge it yet, okay? So I, I'm obsessed. What do you guys think? Like, we've got this side, and then of course the fireplace side and the right side. So if I like come up on my stairs, so you can see the whole thing. See the vibes? Do you see? So I feel like on this side, I use that really big sponge. See how it looks kind of like splotchy like that? That's why I'm like, I wonder if it's not dry because I was kind of freaking out, I'm not gonna lie. That big sponge, remember I told you with the little sponge, the like the drip? I don't know if the fireplace wall just gave me confidence or what happened. These big walls, the drip, my trim at the bottom just covered, covered. Absolutely covered, I need to set y'all down. Um, but I'm just like, the drip was insane with that big sponge. So that was kind of disheartening. But I mean, what can you do? You know what I'm saying? Like, then I was using the little sponge to kind of like touch up. And it was looking really horrible when I finished. And I was like, Lord God, I need you to fix this. And I went to go try to fix it and he was like, let it dry. And I was like, okay. So I did and it looked a thousand times better. But I did go back um, because that the texture walls, I'm telling you, like it's very easy to miss spots because of like that texture. So I did go back in and like stipple with the paintbrush and then try to smooth it with the sponge. So I don't know, we're gonna see. I feel like the right side though, that side I only did the small sponge. I didn't even use the big one because it was stressing me out. But still, the drip. That, I'm not taking the tape off. I don't even want to take it off until tomorrow. Like when you peel tape off the wall, you have got to make sure that your paint is a thousand percent dry or else it's like, it's not going to be crispy. You know what I'm saying? I don't even want to chance it. That's how much it was dripping. But anyways, I'm really excited about it. I'm just like, I'm like very pleased. Um, I also went ahead and painted the things for the TV mount. Um, they're out in the garage. I had to like switch it up. So they are here. So this is the one that's because like, that's where my outlet goes. They're still wet though. So as you can see, they're wet and whatnot. And so I decided that what I'm gonna do is I'm going to paint my little DIY plaster canvas that I did. I'm gonna go ahead and paint that white so that it's all white, but it'll, like, you'll still be able to see the texture. And if I think it's too boring or something like that, then I'll put, like, whatever, some sort of speckling or something that matches the wall. I really am in love with the wall. I'm so pleased. I'm proud of myself, praise God. And I'm just like, wow, you finally did it. Now watch me move in six months. But anyways, uh, that's why I haven't done the wall because I've wanted to move for so long, right? I've been wanting to move out of this house for low key two years, I'm not gonna lie to you. I wasn't even six months in. And I was like, yeah, I'm ready to go. On to the next. And then like last year when I had been here for like a year, I was like, okay, maybe we should settle in. Put stuff on the wall. I wanna paint. But then I was like, no, I went back and forth for so long. And then I was like, yeah, I'm really gonna paint. And then I was like, no, I'm gonna move. I'm not gonna be here much longer, like standing in faith. Nothing wrong with standing in faith, okay? Because I am gonna move in Jesus' name. But the Lord even told me, he was like, you can paint because you're gonna be here for a little bit longer. And I said, I don't wanna hear that. The devil is a liar. So I didn't paint and here I am. But I am so ready to go that I have to do something drastic to make this feel like a new house 
to get me excited and like, oh my gosh, yay, because I'm that ready to go. But I feel like the wall is doing it. I do, I mean, around my TV mount, that's real ghetto, I could have tried harder. But also it don't matter because the things are gonna cover it. So anyways, let's paint the canvas really quick and then I have to go to a nail appointment because I got my nails done on Wednesday. I need to still like scrub them, scrub the paint off of them, so do not judge that part. But I got them done Wednesday, but look, do you see how like they're chipping already? Like do you see like this big gash out of my ring finger? So. Like I noticed that last night, I was getting ready for bed and I was like, why are all my nails like chipped off? I just got them done Wednesday, it's been 48 hours. So I need to call them and then go and get that fixed. But before I do that, I wanna get all of the painting things done so I don't have any more painting. But I'm so excited. And then later on, if I'm feeling froggy, we're gonna do this. If not, we're gonna do it tomorrow. And honestly, I'm just in like a let's redo the whole house kind of mood. But at the same time, it's 4.15 on Saturday. Baby girl, you can only do so much, okay? But I'm really excited about this wall. Just like look at it from, don't judge the mess that is down here. But look at it from this angle. Like, do you see how it just, oh my gosh, it just gives, does it not? It does. I just, I'm so pleased, so excited, love it. Okay, let me get set up. Y'all can watch me paint my canvas. Cause it's just soothing, you know what I mean? We're back from our commercial break. I had to go get my nails fixed. So now they are fixed. I was like, you don't have to do the little extra swoop a doop that we had last time. Just do normal. So now what I need to do, first of all, I need to eat dinner. Like, I was trying to figure out what my problem was. I haven't eaten. Um, but I need to fix my walls. Uh, let me try and like, oh, turn the light on so y'all can see me. So my gray walls, if you can see, Probably not, but when I was painting the black, I splattered paint. So I tried to wipe it, but obviously I didn't do the best job because it's still there. And then on this wall also, I have like a couple of smudges. So I wanna go ahead and fix those tonight so that they're just done. And then um, I wanna take a shower, but you already know we're gonna use the new shower head, so I have to install it. So, I know I said maybe this is a vlog. It's very much giving home projects, because that's just what it is. The door, I tested it, it failed. So, I'm very much just like, what am I to do about this? Because I don't know who you're supposed to call. Who are you gonna call, Ghostbusters? Like, I don't, I don't know. Oh, I'll show you guys the canvas. So I only did the two coats. I thought about doing another, but I don't think it needs it, to be honest with you. Um, I think that it looks really good with just the two coats. So my garage, y'all, don't judge. But see, it's giving, let me come on this side where there's no shadow. See, it's like very bright white. It'll look better once it's in the house. And then my little TV things, I feel like out here, I mean on camera they're showing up really dark, but I feel like out here they're very gray-ish looking. Um, but like, like they don't look like they match the wall. So I was a little scared for a second and I was like, did I not use the right paint? I don't understand. Um, so they do look a little more gray out there, but I did bring one in and hold it up against the wall. It matches, obviously, because it's the same paint. But I'm really excited about it. So I am going to let everything set tonight. I'm not touching nothing. I'm not doing nothing else with the wall. I'm going to paint the light gray to fix it. 
and then tomorrow I will put the wall plates back, put the TV mount thing back, take the tape off, and pray that them lines are crispy. But anyways, let's paint some more, and then actually I'm not gonna show you all that. Why would you wanna see it? I'll come back when we install the shower head. Okay, so whenever you're doing something with um, plumbing, you need to make sure that you have this tape. Okay, that's when like people's shower heads and stuff leak, like from the pipe. It's because they don't put the tape on. You have to put the tape on and then you tighten it. You know what I mean? So let's just give a little lip see here. I feel like it's gonna tell me exactly what I need to know. I unscrew that and then I screw these things in. I feel like that's what it's gonna be. And that was easy. So to compare here, oh, it's wet. Let me move this. Gosh. So this is my old shower head and this is the new one. So it's not like, is it bigger? It's like a little bit bigger, but not a whole lot. So here for it. And if you're wondering what this is, it's a um, shower filter, a water filter for your shower. I got it off Amazon. It helps with, um, there's really hard water in Texas, which can take a toll on your skin and hair and whatnot. So I have found that this is actually very helpful. Okay, it's all in there. I feel like this though, oh my gosh, because I'm doing it the wrong way. Be serious. This, because it needs to like. Okay. Now let me get my wrench. Do I really need a wrench? I feel like probably not. I feel like. To the right. I feel like this is not working. Like, you're not doing your job. You have one job. That's why I'm getting confused. Oh my gosh. Can we just like. Because I didn't plug in the hose yet. Teach are you. I'm tired. Okay. Hose. Now it's magnetic. Oh, because my things. Okay. Well, the magnet does work, but please hold. Is that? Okay. Because this isn't going to work. So, oh, there's a suction. So I'm gonna have to figure out what to do with that. Here. Ah, how fun. All right, moment of truth. Is it this? Oh, so there's an on off thing, okay. <laughs> So that's part of it, but why is it not? So when it's on, so this part's working, why aren't you working? Oh, all right, so you can have it come all out of the big shower head, and then like this doesn't work at all, or you can do where like you're splitting between the two, but see, it like doesn't really give a whole lot to either, or you can do where it's only the little one. So, I mean, for the purposes that I need, and then you can change this. So it can be like a jet. I don't know if you guys are even able to see. So it can be like skinny or wide. But this will be good for when I'm trying to clean the shower, basically. And I don't see any leaking up here, which is good. But I'm gonna turn it back on this so that I can shower. Okay. I'll report back after I actually take a shower with it. But let me um, zoom in and get close. There it is. And then right, you've got magnetic thing and then this is your button. And then you can change the settings, you know, with this thing. Okay, let me turn that off. And then this, I think, is only one. It doesn't do anything else. So, 
I'm excited about it. Okay, hey y'all, we are home from Pilates and let me tell you something. It was something else today. I, you could hear after every set, I need to open this so there's more light. After every set, you could hear all of us. We were like, ah, like, my word, and then after like one, she had us do one thing and then she's like, okay, now you're gonna like, I don't know, we're doing core. And she's like, okay, now we're gonna do X, Y, Z. And she's like, do you wanna break first? Of course we all were like, yeah, but nobody wanted to say it and she had us do it, my word. Anyways, okay, so looking at the wall, I'm not gonna lie to you. What, so you can't even see me. Looking at the wall, I'm not gonna lie to you. It looks a little splotchy. Not splotchy, but like, it's not like smooth. You know what I'm saying? Like it is. But it's not. I don't know if it's going to pick up on camera. Let's see. Like, see how it's, like, kind of, like, streaky? That's kind of the word. Like, it's kind of streaky, but not. But see how it's, like, right here where it's really streaky? I mean, my canvas goes right there, and you can't see anything. So, I honestly don't know how to fix that. Do you know why? Because I'm not a professional painter. So, I'm just going to leave it. Because it's, like, if you just, like, look at it, it's, like, wow, look at that. But if you look at it, it's like, oh, my eyes, because my hat. It's just very like, you can see, but again, my canvas goes there, my chair will be there. I think by the time I put everything back, you're not gonna be able to tell. But what I wanna do also is I have this lamp. <laughs> so this lamp here, um, as you can see, right, it's kinda like that, what is it called, beveled? I don't know, but see, it has like that. Um, when you turn it on, which, let me turn it on. I'll show you guys. But when you turn it on, the light is just like so direct. So like when you turn it on, see how the light is just like so direct, I guess you could say. Oh, don't zoom, girl. Man, it's just kind of like very direct. And so it's kind of um, harsh. Maybe you would think I'd be able to handle this camera better, but it's just kind of like harsh. And so the whole purpose of me getting this lamp was so that in the nighttime, if I'm watching a movie or something, I can have it on so that I'm not watching TV in the dark because I don't like to watch TV in like the full dark because it just, I feel like it's very harsh. But this light is so harsh. So what I bought, which again, all of these products are things that I thought about doing like a year ago and they just never did so that's my bad let me turn some lights on so y'all can actually see me um so what i got actually forever ago was this spray paint for like frosted glass so i was thinking like if i frost the glass just really lightly it can like diffuse the light so it's not so harsh so i want to do that today as well and then that can dry while i take the tape off take the stuff back to my friends, return the extra supplies to Home Depot. Um, so obviously the big sponge stressed me out, so I didn't even use the extra little pad that I got for it. I bought three of the little ones, I only used two, and then I bought like a big angled brush, which I didn't use. So I'm gonna take all that back. And then I need to take the thing off my door because it's not doing anything except for making the door hard to close. I feel like if you have issues with like a draft coming in or bugs or something, I feel like it would help with that, but it's just not helping with my issue. Anyways, before I do anything, I need to have a protein shake. I need to have a protein shake. Also, the more I look at my nails, I'm just like, maybe I'm a French tip girly. I usually am like a color girly, and I'm like, maybe we're in a new era of just like classic French tip girl, I don't know. Um, but anyways, we're gonna continue on with the home projects and we're gonna do the big reveal and put my living room back together because when my house is chaotic like this, my brain is chaotic and I can't function. So we've gotta get this done today. What do you think? We are done with the wall. So we, it's hours later. As you can see, I've changed. Do you know why? Because I was trying to touch up. Let me show you, let me just show you. So, see up there, it's like not the best. And then on the corner, it's not the best, but it's way better than what it was. 
So what had happened was I took the tape off. Well, first of all, my camera died, which is probably for the best because I took the tape off and anywhere where it was like a smooth surface, like the fireplace mantle, etc., beautiful. This textured wall, it bled. It bled so bad. I went back with the black and I was trying to go in with this like angled brush. This is a one and a half inch to try and fix it. But then when I was trying to do that, I got black on the gray wall. So I was like, well, that's annoying. So I waited for it to dry, got my gray paint out, went back in with the angled brush, tried to fix it on the wall, on the ceiling. It looked worse than when I started. So I was like, great, now I have to go back in with the black. And I was about to use this again, and I was like, you know what? You have to take stuff back to Home Depot anyway. Just go and get a smaller brush. So I did. I went and got the one inch angled brush, if you can see. And this, it makes all the difference. Like, you, when you, you're doing the angle, like you just have to be really light to make sure that it keeps the angle, right? Because if you start smushing it, it's gonna get like flat, so you just have to go really light. And I just went really light. And I think it looks, like it's not perfect by any means, but you know what, I didn't pay someone to do this. I'm not a professional. It looks way better than it did when I took the tape off and then when I did the first round of touch-ups, it looks way better. So it's not perfect, like you guys can probably see, like it's not like crispy straight, but at the same time, with the way my walls are, with the way like it being textured, it's just difficult. And that wall over there, I'm telling you, I'm telling you the wall to the left of the fireplace. I'm telling you it's not 90 degrees. It Like maybe it is, but I feel like it's not. But anyways, I'm very pleased with how it turned out. I did, um, a couple touch-ups on the wall so it might be like a little bit wet and then I also had went in and did touch-ups all around my house to be honest with you I was touching up the walls around my house the trim around my house I'm actually about to touch up my kitchen cabinets uh, because I'm like why not why not but what I'm gonna do before I do that is put my house back together the shade, the glass shade that I spray painted has dried, so I'm gonna show you all that. It's not perfect, but again, what is? What is? I am not a DIY girly. I be trying and y'all be seeing how it goes. But anyways, I'm really excited about the wall. Like, I think it looks really good. Let me bring y'all like back here. I get it, my house is like a mess, but it's just like, I love it. I just feel like it's giving. And is it giving perfect? No. But is it giving, I did it for free by myself. It's the first time I've ever painted a wall. Especially a textured wall. Like, that's what it's giving. So, I'm um, pleased. And we're gonna put everything back together and I'm gonna hang my canvas. I am just like, I understand that all I did was paint. I understand that paint can be very dramatic. It's giving. Like, it's giving who lives here. Like, do I live here? Are you sure? That's what it's giving, and that's what it needed to give. Because like I said, I wanna move so bad. I needed to do something so dramatic to make me feel like I'm in a new house, and I feel like that. I just feel, it just feels complete. You know what I'm saying? I'm shook off it. Anyways, I'm sure I look a mess. I'm sure I look crazy. It's after 6 p.m. I need to get my life together, get my childhood dinner, do laundry, get ready for the week, all the things, enjoy my space, take a shower with my new shower head again. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you think, because it's giving. If you don't like it, 
I'm sorry, but it ain't your house. It's giving, okay? But thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.